everyone, we're going to find the critical numbers of the function h of p, which equals 3 minus 1 divided by p squared plus 4. So basically what we're going to do is uh, take the derivative of h and set it to 0 and solve for p. And that will tell us your uh, critical numbers. So the first thing we do is I'm um, going to use the quotient rule and take the derivative of h of p, h prime of p. So let's write down our denominator, which is p squared plus 4 times the derivative of the numerator minus, copy down your numerator, times the deriv derivative of the denominator. And then you divide by your denominator squared. Okay, simplifying your numerator, you're going to get p squared plus 4 minus 2p squared plus 2p. And then write down your denominator. And this simplifies even further to negative p squared plus 2p um, plus 4 divided by p squared minus 4 squared. Now, um, we want to set our um, h prime of p equal to 0, so set this to 0. We can't factor this, so uh, we're going to use the quadratic formula. Again, if you cross multiply, the denominator goes away, and this is supposed to be um, is this minus, all this is supposed to be plus. Sorry about that. Plus, plus, plus. All right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So it's x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And our numerator was uh, negative p um, squared plus 2p plus 4. And so we're going to change this also to p. And now our um, b, our a, equals negative 1. Our b equals 2 and our c equals 4. So we're going to get this equals negative 2 plus or minus uh, negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4ac divided by negative 2. So, um, when you divide these two, you'll get negative, uh, you'll get positive 1. So basically, you're going to get 1 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 16. And, um, all over, let's just keep our negative 2 here for now. So this is going to give you uh, negative 2 plus or minus, now this is 20, so that's uh, 20 can be written as 4 times 5, so it's going to be 2 square root of 5 divided by negative 2. Now, after that, um, the twos uh, will change, this will just change a little bit. So this would be 1 plus or minus square root of 5. So that's your critical numbers. You have 1 plus square root of 5 and 1 minus square root of 5. And square root of 5 is a real number, so it exists for all real numbers. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.